Greetings and welcome back to Monster Legends. All right, and today we have something new. We have some old stuff too, but we have something new. So let's go to the news and look at it. We have the Makugan quest. All right, so this is a breeding quest. You got to do a lot of breedings and you'll get cells of her down here. All right, so the combination, of course, is Burkgar and the Lord of Atlantis. And you can see the Jokers right above there. If you don't have Burkgar and you have Violet, you can stick her in there. If you don't have the Lord of Atlantis, which you probably have me breedable, you know, I'm just saying, uh, you could put uh, Galante in there. But, of course, you can't use Galante and Violet. You have to have one of the parents, right? So that's the way it works. And you could get down here when you're doing the breeding and hopefully getting some pieces down here. You could get, where is this? I'm trying to get that name. Sir Automatronicus. The big metal guy. And then you have Jacques Hougan. You know, obviously, there's like one letter difference there in the names. So the, obviously, they're related, right? And, of course, you have Ezreal, who's like my raven. I would very much like to get an upgrade for her. I wouldn't mind getting any one of these. But I have to say, the big guy, I don't have him. He'd be my first choice. Right behind him would be Ezreal. Yeah, I would, I'd like to get her because I love Raven, so I'd like to get her an upgrade. So anyway, let's find out about her. Let's get all the details that, um, okay, um, uh, there's something about possession, um, okay, um, did, I don't know, okay, um, I think they need to work on the uh, localization thing. See, I, I took um, I, I took French in high school, so um, yeah. I mean, uh, and and, and I, I can really I can curse people out. That's about it, though. It's the only thing I retained. Um, so luckily, it does actually give us a little information over here. All right. So this monster is an amazing attacker, hardened and immune to stun and possession. All right, who can also make her team immune to blind. So I'm guessing that we're starting to see the abilities of the War Masters work their way into the new creatures, where they do things for the entire team, at least for the beginning. So that's, that's, that's kind of interesting for the future. One could call that incredibly overpowered, but we'll see how that works. Being, making the team immune to blind is certainly not overpowered. If you were doing that with the stun in possession for the first couple of rounds, yeah, that would be a little bit on the overpowered side. Just saying. But, uh, yeah, uh, localization guys work on that a little bit. So, all right, so we got this one, and it's, I'm going to take a shot at it right now because I haven't done this one. So let's just, uh, let's just jump in there and see if uh, we can get them to do something really good for me here now. Luckily, he can act weak. Okay, we use Sparta, of course. And uh, we're going to go over to Water. And where is down here? Should be around here. Okay, splashy. Okay, so let's hope they give us the numbers that we want to see. That's not what I wanted to see. No, that is not. That's an epic. All right. Well, fortunately, enough time has passed that I get this back. So let's just activate that now. Okay, what I get? 80%? I get 80%. So that should be like four hours. No, it's like six hours, right? Yeah, six and a half hours. All right, so uh, I'm going to try that. I don't have to worry too much about the hatchery being clogged up because uh, the only other thing that's going that's using that, it doesn't really interest me very much, right? So I'm going to take a couple of shots. If I get any one of those three, that's useful. And then, you know, am I going to get enough cells to put her together? Well, it's not really going very long if you notice the time. So... It's very hard to actually get enough of those cells. So I don't know if getting one of those gets you some kind of key or something like that. I don't know. I didn't read it that deeply. So we'll see what happens with that. I mean, as I said, if I could get one of those three, you know, one of them is new and the other two are upgrades. So that's not so bad. Not so bad at all. All right. What else do we have? Okay. Sitting at the top here, we're being told that we're heading towards a battlegrounds, right? So we're going to be doing matchmaking in a couple of days. Does that mean that the, the, the actual battle is going to fall on a Sunday again? I guess so. I wish that they would extend the battles to two days. If we're going to do this once a, once a month, I just wish we would extend the battles to two days. I mean, we do the setup of our armies for two days and then the battle for one day, even though the battle takes infinitely longer. See, I mean, if you're setting up your teams, 
you're putting them in place, right? You're just putting your team members in place, right? But for battles, you're putting the team mem you're selecting your team members, and then you actually have to do a battle. And then you have to go and select another team and then do another battle. So it takes infinitely longer time. So I would like, can't we just do that? Can't we just say like, two days of battle? Is it take that much of a difference? You know, it's just, it takes a couple of hours to do those fights. So I might lean heavily on defense like the last time. We did win. We did win last time. So it was actually kind of good. So we'll see what happens. I guess it really all depends in these. It's the same thing with war. Who is your opponent? If it's somebody close to you in level, then it's more interesting. If it's somebody super powerful, it's not fun at all. If it's somebody super weak, you know, I guess it's fun, but, you know, it's not fun for them, right? So, you know, just even and such like that. All right, so what else do we got? All right, well, the Haxter path opened up. All right, so in terms of the Agursus, I got, okay, just close that up. I got just short of the scroll. So that's where I was. If you can just see it on this one, it's kind of similar here. Um, so I didn't get to the egg afterwards, so I don't have enough to um, upgrade him. So in this case, you can see where I am with, uh, with Haxter. I'm actually a lot closer than I was, I think, before. So, you know, obviously there's only 20 hours and 44 minutes at the time of recording for this. And you can see I already, I already used up my stuff. So I don't know how close I get. I wouldn't mind getting the gold relic. I'd like to get the other Haxter cells. I'd love to get the, um, the little scroll, but I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, it kind of uh, goes up a little bit more towards the end there, you know. We'll see. We'll see. You never know. Um, I kind of did miss some times where I could have done some collections for Egersus. So I, I, if I stick with it, maybe I can do a little bit better this time. Uh, if I get enough... I actually had a couple to start with. I currently have 74, so I think I've gotten 60. So that was probably another 10, so that'd be like 84. I'm getting to the point where I might just blow Elementium to rank him up because I mean, he's very useful, very, very useful indeed. Anyway, so hopefully you guys are doing as well. Uh, remember, the scrolls will determine what kind of chest you get at the end. So I have two of them. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've been getting with these, two of them. All right, what else do we have? Well, we have, of course, this guy down here. And you can see that I'm actually kind of close to opening this. I have the other two. I haven't opened them. I was kind of thinking maybe if we get some PvP wins in today, you know. Uh, it does say win. Yeah, it does say win. Okay, then um, maybe I get it low enough that we can actually hit the old button on there. But, you know, I, I got two and a half days left on that. I don't know if I even want to do that, but we'll see. We'll see about that. I still have the other ones. I figure when I get this one, we'll open them all at one time and see if I get some decent epics and maybe a legendary from this one. Because this one does give you the chance for a legendary, right? Um, it would be fun if I got another one of her, but I would have preferred the other one, you know, because the thing is, and even an extra one of her isn't very useful to me. Because I have her at 110, which means you need, you know, 290 to rank her up. It escalates really quickly. You know, it goes 120, 150, 290, you know, that kind of thing. All right. And I think that's covering about everything that we got going now. So why don't we go into war? All right. We won the last three wars. And that's a great little uh, streak we have going there. Uh, this team, I don't really know. I think they jumped out to a little bit of a league. They are stronger than us, but not really much. You know, not really much. They've attacked more than us. So that's the thing about it. They've Now, unfortunately, there's a, you know, hiccup for this war, and you can pretty much see it here. All right, so we have Underworld, we have Magic, and we have Rare. Okay, so we have Rares, right? We have Rares. All right, so I actually have a kind of a strong team in at the moment. But maybe I want to make sure I get a win in here. Let's see. Right, strong team. That's what I'm talking about. I'm wondering if I should use Flappy. Because um, the reason I threw him in there is because he's got a 4 support speed. But I don't think speed's going to be a problem here. I mean, your denial really shouldn't have support speed. It should have real speed. So as a result, you know, that's not really as good as it could be, you know. I mean, the other ones, yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, look at it this way. The, the, the panda actually has real speed and not support speed. If those two were down on the egg eater and those were up on him, it would actually be better. 
he'd probably be deep into the five thousands then, right? Okay, so let's see. Let's just go because I'm. She's of course she's faster. This is going to be kind of brutal, but we'll see what happens. You never know. You never know, right? All right. Well, they're all going to be a bit late, hopefully. Okay. Okay. Somebody didn't have the poison attack. Ow! Okay, you really should have attacked him up there. All right, uh, let's just see about uh, getting rid of all of you. Uh, I think that's going to do it. And no missing. Yeah, okay. Well, I do have another good rare. Uh, actually, I leveled him up once I saw this was going to happen because I had a bunch of... I shouldn't say leveled him up. I ranked him up. Because I had a lot of cells, and I figured, oh, let me just use him. All right, let's see what we have here now. Let's look around. Um, ooh, that's kind of ugly. See, that's what I'm talking about. Have the fives down there, and everybody else has got support. So, yeah, I want to stay away from that one. Um, possibly. Of course, I probably will be using um, denial. I, I mean, I should say I'll be using possession. Let me just see. Let me just see. All right, what am I going to be doing here? Change. I could use stun. Well, I mean, she's not fast enough for that, right? Privateer Morgan. I could use Egg Eater. I, I believe I have access to... Um, I believe I have access to better over here. So for the moment, I'm going to grab Galatron. And let me just see here. Yeah, I could use him. The problem with that... Demise... Is there somebody... Let's just do this for the moment. Uh, over here, this is an easy one. I'm going to go with Eggnog. All right, let's just walk over here for a moment. All right, now he's immune to possession, which is the big problem here. And of course, he's got he's a, uh, a VIP, so he's got 50% here. And you you got you're immune to stun. So if I even if I went with the stuns, it wouldn't be a good one. All right, let's see if we can get something a little bit better here. Uh, the, see, that would work great if I had Dodger and I used Dodger there. But the thing about it is that immune to possession means that I have a problem. What is she again? Hold in a minute. What, what is she? Hardened. Okay, so that could go very badly. You're immune to sudden death. And you're stunned. What are you again? So, oh, you're, I think you're faster. No, you're not. Oh, that's because he's helping. All right. All right, let's try it. Let's see how it works. All right, and boom. Okay, that worked out perfectly. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. She was possessed. Oh, oh an extra turn, but, but he's not got a damage boost or anything like that. Um... Could just get rid of him. Actually, I have two turns here, though. All right, let's start with this one right here first. Oh, you got you got curse. Oh, really? Okay, curse is uh, included in there now, isn't it? Okay, I didn't realize that. I didn't realize his little uh, a group of torture effects now included uh, uh, curse too. That's okay. Now you need to heal. So, oh, who do I kill? Well, he's about to go, but he's possessed. All right, get rid of her. Because he might just kill himself. Oh, they added, um, I didn't realize that. Okay, I didn't realize they added that. I know they were going to add that, 
you know, the uh, recently possessed. So there's a temporary immunity to possession. Okay, all right. Uh, by the way, why don't we just do that? And okay, well, obviously we're not doing that anymore. Let's see. Um, well, I mean, that'll kill him, so... Okay, two things I didn't know there. I didn't know that the torture effects that Galatron could use now included curse. Uh, another thing is I didn't realize they'd added the immunity to possession. But anyway, that worked out all right, though. We ended up getting what we wanted here. Um, hopefully, we can come back and win. It does seem as if they've attacked more than us. So we'll see. We've been, we've been coming back pretty strong. So that's actually something that I hope happens again. Okay, and I need wins, don't I? I need wins for, where is it? It's hiding all the way down here for the Wasteland Island, right? The Wasteland Night Island. So let's go get some uh, PvP wins. At least I hope they are. I'm sure you guys are going to help with that because I have your teams. Yeah, they're still there. I, I'd li probably like to stay in gold one. The teams seem to be okay. So I'm right on the borderline. So I'm counting on some wins to push it up a little bit there. But in the meantime, I do need the uncommons to bring it down a bit too. Uh, because you guys won the last four, you know? So it's getting a little bit too close to going above there. All right, so let's begin. Our first team was selected by Bali Halfhout. I hope I said that right. By the way, I'm going to be saying that a lot today. Um, and Bali wanted to see... We're starting over... Oh, fire. It's the first one. And somebody who really wanted an upgrade, but I might have to, like, I don't know, let me get a lot of fire stuff here going. I got um, 85 cells. I got 85 cells from that. So I would need another 35. I'm thinking I might just go crazy with the fire cells and see if I can get enough. I think I have 25, so I need 10 more. So we'll see how that works out. I would like to upgrade him, though. Uh, next up is somebody who is currently in the process of being upgraded. And that is, of course, Sparta. He's very handy. And finally, somebody who was upgraded. And that is, oh, oh wait, Pan. All right, so obviously an extremely powerful team here depending very much on stuns and such. Okay, so let's see. I mean, up the middle, we don't have any denial, so I'd rather not do that. I mean, just try to make it a little bit challenging here. Yeah, let's just do a refresh. Yeah, I don't want to drop any lower in the trophies if this is what we're looking at here, right? I'm at the middle, maybe? I mean, he's immune to stun. Is he immune to stun? I think he might be. Um, let me see. I don't know what that guy on the the left, the far left of the left group, um, I don't know who that is. I don't know if he has denial or anything like that. So we're going to try up the middle, see how that works. Unfortunately, they have no runes at all. In a case like this, I'd really like to back out. But, you know, I didn't know they were going to have no runes at all. So this is going to be very unfortunate. Now, they're both immune to stun. But uh, I don't think it's going to matter. Yeah, what, 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 and why do you need stun when you have rigor mortis? Um, let's see. Okay, how about that? And why don't we just go for the red chlorophyll? That wasn't a fight. That was an execution. I was kind of hoping that would be a little bit better. All right, so we got some coins, and we got one of those little knives. I hope to get three more. All righty. Okay, so let's go back in here, and let's uh, get our second team. Our second team today was requested by Rokas Garisius. I hope I said that right. And Rokas wanted to see, like I said, you're going to see me, you're going to hear me say that one more time probably at the end here. And uh, where is our first individual? Where is she? 
Okay, this is going to be Betty. Uh, next up, we have we have Indigo, and finally we have the tank. Today will be oh, there she is, right there, right at the top, 105, 105. Okay, so let's see how this works out. I, I it wouldn't surprise me if Rocket doesn't get a chance to do anything here today. Okay, so here's the problem. All right, immune to possession here. Actually. This, these first, the one in the middle and the one on the left are just, possession just isn't going to work at all. Because the McBloods are immune to all forms of possession. You got Voltex, which basically they'll attack once and then they'll go back to attacking you. And then we have Anishan's pet who's immune to possession. I don't think he's immune to possession, but you know, it doesn't matter at that point. We're not doing those teams. I think that Balazar is, is immune to possession. I, I, for some reason, I, you know, I'm just going to do a refresh because I don't. That's not a good team anyway. Let's see. It really all depends, doesn't it? I mean, the thing about it is, if I if I do the one on the right, pardon me, if I do the one on the left. I might be able to take out the Thetis. I might be able to take out, but again, we're talking about possession on a um, a Voltec, which is a very bad idea. Now, up the middle, I do believe Mystery is immune to possession, but I don't find Mystery to be very dangerous. Let's see if she can um, prove me wrong. Okay, let's go. Yeah, she's immune to possession, I believe, right? Yeah, right, right, right. All right, let's see whether or not she can make me pay for this. Okay. Okay, you got one chance to stop him. That's not going to make that big of a difference. That does make a big difference. All right, the only thing he could really do that would be a problem would be to kill himself, and I don't think he can do that. Yeah, I don't. I didn't think so. If he had poisoned himself, that would have been a big problem. All right, let's see. Well, you just die instantly, so I'm not going to be concerned with you. Um, I am concerned with uh, the Bella Ball over here. Okay, and boom, you're dead. See, if he had been poisoned, that might have been a problem. But as it is, I see no problems. He seemed to be more damaging today for some reason. I don't know, maybe it was my imagination. And... Yippee! I'll take a run. They're useful, they're useful. All right, so let's go in with our next team. Our third team today was suggested by Snowstruck 67 AJ. And by the way, could you like name that something different like, you know, Spring Breeze, Summer Beaches, you know, in the Northeast of the United States, the word Snowstruck in the winter is something we don't want to hear, really. We've gotten lucky so far. I like the luck to hold out to about June. So anyway, let's uh, go with your team. You actually gave me three teams. The first two teams actually had individuals from the first two we've used here today. Uh, fortunately, the last one did not. So let's go with that one, right? Uh, our first member of this team, actually the first two members of this team are from water. The first one is Gami. The next one is right, oh, right there, it's Tara. And the last one is over in fire, and that is going to be, where is, he's here somewhere, there he is, Drogon. Okay, so let's see, we got lots of denial here, uh, damage, well, we'll see what we can do with that, right? Okay, I'm not doing the team on the left because there's an epic there and it's 90, right? Up the middle looks extremely challenging, especially with that uh, that Dan there, that 115 Dan. But like I said, we do have a lot of denial here. I just don't know whether or not Drogon can generate enough damage the way I have him. 
Well, let's just risk it and see what happens. Like I said, we do have a lot. But of course, now they've added the um, immunity to, deni to uh, possession, so that might be a problem. All right, let's see. See, here's the thing. Do I want her to do that now? I'm thinking having her do elite troops is actually a better idea and then let, uh, let Kami do his thing. All right, that's what I'm going to do. Because I think Trogons needs as much help as possible here. All right, and then do this. Okay, did everybody get both? Everybody got both. That's a shame. All right. Um, should I send that? I'm, it's, well, we got the deny. But that's only going to kill one of them. I'm going to set them on fire. I'm going to set them on fire. All right, now I'm taking their stamina away. Good question. All right, so there's no purpose in doing this because even if I did manage to get it, they're immune to them right now. So, yeah, that's kind of a big change now, isn't it? Unless I did that. First of all, it kills two of them. Second of all, it would remove the immunity anyway, right? All right, so this is working out pretty well. Okay, and no special from him. I think you're dead right now. Yep, boom. Okay, that worked out pretty well. I hadn't realized they added that. It must have been a recent thing, because I haven't seen that. All right, so uh, let's pop out. Okay, and let's go over here. Go here, grab the extra fight, and then go back in. I might have to put my team in because... I don't want it to drop any lower than that. If I stay in this range for the trophies, I'll be okay. So I might just put, uh, at least I'll put my uh, PvP team in there, you know, my regular defense team, you know, so we'll do that. All right, let's go in and let's get our fourth and final team for today. Our final team today was suggested by Ali Saadi. I hope I said that right. I probably didn't. Anyway, Ali wanted to see... Oh, he apparently wanted to see me win. Uh, let's go with, uh, where is... Oh, 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 I better filter, otherwise it's going to take a long time. Because he's right there. Okay, we got Simon going there, right? All right, next up we have... Someone hasn't been picked in a while, actually. And that is... You know what it is? It's just that in terms of metal... Uh, yeah, this guy right here, Fernando. He's just, he's just amazing. And another thing about it is very useful, too, is the Baroness. But we still have... Oh, wait a minute. He's 105, isn't he? There he is. We have Harry. Because, after all, he's a wizard. All right. And finally, we have... Over here... We have a kitty cat! Meow! Yes, I'm always going to do that. Okay, so we kind of got... He's actually going to be going first, isn't he? All right. That's interesting. You know, I wonder if Harry even gets a chance to do anything. That's what I'm wondering about. He used to be denial and go first. Now he might, they might all be dead by the time he gets to do anything. Um, I kind of like the team. The team on the, um, the right looks kind of deadly. If they have good runes on them, that might be a problem. All right, well, let's see. It all comes down to runes. If they got great runes, we're in a lot of trouble. And we are not in a lot of trouble. A stamina rune. You have a stamina rune on General Thetis. You have speed on a Burtgar. Okay. All right. Well, you know, um, maybe that might be all that's available. Although these are some very strong individuals. 
Just saying, these are very strong individuals right here. That's the reason I looked at them. If these if these individuals had really good runes, we'd be in a lot of trouble because they can be very terrifying. Um, they're not terrifying here, though. Yeah, we're not. They're not at all terrifying. As a matter of fact, I think they're all about to die. Yeah, I remember precision. So he's not going to miss. Oh, you're a little bit alive, aren't you? All right, you're just a little bit alive. All right, why don't we just make you not a little bit alive? Okay, that was quick and brutal. All right, so let's do a spin. And some food. All right, let's exit out of here. Just out of curiosity, what did those four wins do? Seven. Uh, seven's a bit too much for my blood. So, you know what it is? Next video, I'll open up all my chests and maybe we'll get something lucky. Uh, maybe we'll get a good epics in the other ones or something like that, some really good ones. Or maybe we'll actually get a legendary from that other one. So... Um, anyway, I'm going to keep trying in terms of the breeding one here. If I get any one of those three, it's good. So, you know, why not, right? And so, like I said, I'm not really using the other ones. I can use one hatchery for what I'm doing. I mean, one one breeding location for what I'm doing with the, um, uh, the little progression at the moment. Because uh, I don't know if they're going to do anything. This is pretty big breeding event. I don't think they're going to slip something in later. So we'll do that when that happens. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So we got the uh, the Wasteland Island, uh, the Wasteland Night Island thing going now for another two and a half days. We got the, uh, the Haxter Path there with about 20 hours left in it. And um, we got the breeding thing here, like I mentioned a moment ago. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So by the way, one extra thing. I didn't get to do the testing video yesterday because of circumstance. I do plan on doing it tomorrow. So sorry about uh, being a little bit late with that. But again, circumstances came up. So I do plan on doing that tomorrow. So anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See you.